What is up, guys? How's it going? My name's Jackal, and we are here to make up some videos. We gotta, we gotta, we're a little behind schedule. We got two videos that we gotta make, and today's video we gotta make. So we'll we'll see how much we get into that. Um, yeah, just this last weekend, you know, it was Easter weekend. Uh, Sunday spent most of it with like family and shit, and was just real tired at night. And then yesterday. Uh, between Sunday and Monday, I had basically been running like 36 to 40 hours on only two hours of sleep. So I ended up knocking out for like, usually I only take a two hour nap before work. I took about a six hour nap before work. I went, I put the kids to bed last night and I was Audi 5000. So we have a video of Sunday, a video of Monday, and we got today's video to make. So Hope everyone's doing good. If you see the name of the video and the name of the channel, you know what we're here for. So make sure you guys subscribe. Because the only way you would have found this place is if you're here for them retro games. Alright, and then let's see. Lapras is a 40. Nido Queen is at the correct level. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven. Only eight more levels to gain, and we're off to Giovanni. Like I've said in other parts of this, uh, my goal for this is to do a little bit of grinding here, just so, uh, just so that way when we go to Victory Road and may may have to do slight amounts of grinding there, we don't really have that much to do. I figured my last file when I was, uh, please hurt yourself, yeah, I figure since most, um, or not most, since the last playthrough I did, which was a blind playthrough where I basically sucked ass, if I was able to beat it with my starter at 55 and everyone else at 50, then playing it on this time where I basically used a guide from time to time to reference, But yeah, I hope everybody else had a really nice holiday weekend. Mine was all right. Had some, uh, well, not for me, but for my stepson, the teenager. He is, uh, found out, what was it, Friday? That his, uh, his father was found, uh, dead in an apartment building like some random apartment building like 33rd floor in some like some random building in chicago and uh that sucked seems like his son is handling it as well as he can be um unfortunately with a lot of his dad's like drug problems and mental health issues i think I think he was not exactly surprised, even for him. I mean, he's almost 16. Like, he'll be 16 in July. So, like, he's not young. He's not fucking stupid. So I feel like there was a part of him that knew. Especially because um, over, like, his entire life, his dad had been known to just disappear for weeks to months. Just no contact with anybody. He would just be out on a bender somewhere. And usually his mother, meaning my stepson's grandmother, she would be checking in to see if anybody had found her son. You know, just checking into the coroner's office, checking into, you know, the police stations and just seeing if she would be able to find him. And eventually, usually, you'd we'd end up hearing about him somewhere. And, uh... Yeah, there was a, uh, what was it, the last time, the last time he went missing, he was gone for probably three to four months. Like, he was gone for, a, before this happened, he was actually gone for about a month, or for about four months, I think, last time, between three and four months. Just no news from this guy, hadn't heard from him, and honestly, I 
feel like that might have been the time because it had been so long, longer than it normally is. I think his son kind of thought his father had already been gone, to be totally honest. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like he was probably worrying a lot during that time about his father being missing for so long. And eventually he turned up. And, you know, of course it sucks because, you know, him and his dad were just trying to set up a day that they could hang out and they can visit each other. And the big problem is, is now, you know, when I got into a relationship with um, the boy's mother, you know, this kid was 11 when I met him. So he was like, he already was, him and his dad already had like a relationship with each other. They had been involved in each other's lives. And his problem was just that, like, he loved his son. Like, that's never, that was never a question. Like, the, the dude, he would literally start, like, threatening self-harm if he, if he had gone too long without seeing his son. Now, not healthy and not good, obviously. But also, did care. Big problem was that he had no real sense of responsibility to where you know I mean in the nearly five years that we've been together you know me and the the boys mothers uh I don't think this dude ever held a job down for more than a month and a month is being like super charitable like super Dude had been basically banned from most hospitals in the area from trying to, uh, from trying to get like pain meds and shit. The dude was an addict through and through. And you know, it, it sucked. You know, it sucked because, at least on my end, it, it, the part that hurts me the most is one, obviously, I get to watch my stepson go through some shit that I don't want him to go through. You know, I don't want him to have to, you know, have a situation where he's over here, like, fucking getting ready to bury his, now getting ready to bury his father. And that's probably going to be a fucking funeral I have to go to. Even though I only met the dude, like, for real. Like, less than ten times in five years. Like, the dude didn't really come around much. He, the boy always got dropped off at uh, the grandmother's house and he was just always there. But I mean, the dude was unstable enough that, you know, when my girl was homeless before, you know, my son was born. Because of course, you know, my son, his, his biological father is like fucking nowhere to be seen ever. And actually turns out this motherfucker is like about to move to fucking Florida. Like, their whole entire family is uprooting and moving to Florida. We live right now, not even 15 minutes away from his father lives. Never once has his father tried to come. Now, it's not like that's ever been a surprise, and it's not like we ever thought that, oh, you know, if we move closer, he'll come, he'll come around. No, n none of us ever thought that that was going to happen. That was never even an option. But, you know, it's, I guess one way or the other, I'm going to be rid of fucking both boys' fathers. But, you know, it sucks. Like, you know, I, I, and I talked to my father about all this going on. And, you know, my father is just, you know, in regards to my stepson, he's just like, well, maybe it's for the best. And it's like, yes, kind of. Like, obviously, the best option would have been for his father to get his fucking shit together. And he had every opportunity. He had chances. But he just never utilized on any of them. You know, it would have been much healthier for his son for to watch his father, who is a lifelong addict, get his shit together and be able to at least impart a lesson that it's like never too late. You know, you can always make the change. And the 
dude couldn't do it. And I know he wanted to. It's not like he didn't want to. Obviously, he would have wanted to. But the end result is that he didn't, and he couldn't. And, like, that's, you know, that's partially scary for me because, you know, it it shows me that, you know, how strong is addiction really? Like, I know what it's like to have been addicted to substances, but not in a lifetime chronic way like that. Nothing nearly to that degree. And so it's like, you know, certain thoughts that I have about my kids with regards to, you know, maybe not being able to provide for them as much as I want to be, you know, all these other like, you know, goofy, normal parenty thoughts that enter my head, you know, addiction is clearly so powerful that it overrides even that, like that fear of like seeing your child fucking go, possibly go without food, you know, like I was alluding to before, you know, when my girl was homeless, back in the day when it was just her and my stepson, they, uh, they would, um, they were living out of her car and he was unstable enough at pretty much any point. Yeah, no, I don't want to listen to that noise. That's really what it is. We're not going to. How much does Charizard need for a new level? Did I leave him off in a nice place? All right, he's almost to 49. And I have one rare candy left. I'm thinking I might just use that to get him to level 55 instead of training in here for fucking ever with Charizard. Just move it right along. Now, you know what? I'll save it for the very last level to get Charizard from 54 to 55. Make it so I don't have to train with him that much. Since he'll be the highest level. But yeah, man, it fucking sucks. Like, I, I really wish that there would have been, like, something more that could have been done about the situation. And I mean, very clearly, nothing could. You know, it's not like the dude had not been to rehab. And he's also old enough that, you know, he doesn't want to be patronized, like, especially knowing his father, like, you know, we go to Easter and, you know, it was just me and him going, the other kids and both the girls were in the other car. And we didn't talk much about it because, you know, it had just happened two days prior, so I don't want to be, you know, bringing it up unnecessarily. But, you know, I told him, I was like, listen, I got to do the thing. I know you hate it. I know you've heard it a whole bunch, but you got to talk to me. Come talk to me. You know, I obviously don't know what it's like. You've met both of my parents, but you know, my best friend lost his mom when he was like seven or eight. So people who've lost a parent have like at young ages. I have talked to people who know what it's like, so I can, I can at least empathize and understand. I don't know if it's empathize or sympathize. I don't know what the difference between them would be in this instance. And of course, he told me the typical, like, I know. Which, of course, you know, he's old enough that I actually know what something like this that he knows. But then I just asked him, I was like, you know, I know you're a teenager. Talking to parents and your adults isn't exactly always the thing that you want to do. So, you know, do you at least have a good set of friends to talk to that you can be like, hey, I need to turn off the memes for a bit. Like, we need to talk. And he said that he has friends like that that he can express himself like that with, which is good. That's the real thing that he needs more than anything else. Because he, he does have a therapist and he does go to therapy and he has for years. So he's got that end figured out, but it's also like, you know, sometimes you want somebody that's not a parent, nor do you want somebody that's like a professional. 
you want somebody who's going to be more on your level, somebody who knows closer to what's going to be going on in your mind just because they're a part of your peer group. Noise. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to use it now. I don't care. I feel like... I'm going to put trust in Victory Road to be a better place all around to a better place all around to train. So I'm I'm going to put my trust in that. Maybe I'm just whole dead ass wrong. That could also be the case. God, my arm is killing me. I feel like I'm saying that every video now. Definitely true, though. Shoulder's been killing me. Like, every day I feel it getting, like, stronger and better and stronger and better. But a lot of times it's just being... It's just being a nag. Disappear. Nice, dodge the sludge. Yeah, look at that. I knew. What does fear need for the next level? No, you can't fly in here. I think I barely even used fly in this fucking playthrough. Mm -mm. Fuck you. Well, you know, it sucks for, you know, and then it also sucks for my son because, you know, he doesn't even know his father. Like, at all. At all, at all. And it's like, you know, I know that I'm here and I know that doesn't really matter because, I mean, I was raised by a man that I have bl no blood relation to. And things came out just fine and just kicking. So I don't really doubt that everything will turn out okay with my son. It's just more like, as somebody who themselves didn't have their father in their life, you know, I only, like, once a year at this point, since I turned 18, like, every once in a while I talk to my father. But, my biological father gets, like, a text a year, usually around, like, Thanksgiving. And then it's usually just, you know, accounting for all fingers and toes. Seeing how everything's going. And we both talk about how we're about to fucking smoke some weed. You know, simple things. Damn, Firo's fucking... Firo's fucking attack isn't all that it felt like at one point. Firo don't quite feel like the fucking god he once was in my party. Dude, at one point it was like THE powerhouse. Please don't poison me. Thank you. Bye. But, you know, somebody who grew up without their own father. And, you know, my relationship with mine is very small. But, you know, I was an adult when I, when I talked to him for the very first time. So it is what it is. But, you know, he had actually met his father. 
Usually it was because he was going over to his grandparents' house and the old man was just there. But, you know, he was mainly over there to hang with his grandparents because his father just never did much with him. You know? My girl would ask, you know, his grandmother, so what is it like when the two of them interact with each other? And she pretty much described it as like two strangers interacting with each other. Like there had been so much time removed and so little time spent that, you know, he remembers, um, he remembers Grammy. He remembers Grammy and Grandpa. But, well, I don't know about it anymore. It's been like, especially since COVID, um, because his biological grandfather is, was not in the best health and, um, COVID just pretty much eliminated any, like, contact that he was able to have because he was constantly at risk of exposure. Especially because, you know, my son goes to school. He's interacting with a bunch of other dirty children most of the time. I feel like I might go and buy, because I forget if I can, I may buy Firo a couple of proteins. I don't want to, like, abuse the fucking stat upgrades, but, like, just a couple. Probably two. Won't give me that much, but, you know, like, the normal amount that you would get throughout the game. You know, just a couple. But, no, overall, there was so little time spent that she would describe their interactions as, you know, just some guy looking at some kid and some kid just looking at an adult, like, yo, what up? And that being the extent of it. Damn, that pack don't do shit. Well, granted, Peck's uh, better aspect was the fact that it crits a lot. Not, I guess, it's raw strength is a... It's base power is a move. Yeah. Bro, this fucking googly-eyed bastard. There you go. But he always had this problem with, I guess he was never able to like, he never wanted to interact with his son because, you know, it reminded him too much of his mother and, you know, him and my girl hate each other. I mean, I get it. My girl has a lot to deal with due to her past. So, like, there's areas of his complaints about her that I've heard about that are totally valid. Like, I'm not going to say what's not true. Like, my girl is a handful. You know, she's a very hard person to deal with because of basically the person that her parents turned her into. And, yeah, it's not always the easiest. But for him, I mean, the dude had fucking rectal cancer. As the baby was born. So I mean like. The dude was on chemotherapy. And you have a brand new baby. Who. You know. He basically has an immune system that's shot. There's a baby here. Who is. You know. Not really able to be in contact with him. And I can't tell if he was upset. That he wasn't able to like spend enough time with her. Or he felt like. I don't know, man. I don't I don't even fucking know. He talks about how he was mad that, like, he felt that she had, had the kid and then kind of just disregarded him and just didn't care about him anymore. Treating it like, oh, you got a kid out of me and that's all you wanted. 
Meanwhile, like, the motherfucker is, like, he's going through chemo. He has a compromised his fuck immune system, and he's over here bitching that, like, oh, I can't get no puss puss. And it's like, bro, you just had a kid. Like, why don't you fucking chill, huh? Who knows? These, these people annoy the fuck out of me. They really do. But I don't think we're going to be able to, uh, I don't think we're going to get finished here training Electrode, especially with that. I think there's going to be a further day. I talked enough about shit. Electrode. See, the thing is, is electric Pokemon don't really seem to be all that great in this game. I honestly just really fucking like them. I'm not going to lie. I just do. But... I enjoy having somebody on my team that's that absurdly fast. Unless there's some douchebag that pulls out a quick attack. Electrode's hitting first, because, like... Look at that, speed is 151! Higher than his attack! Like, more than double! Speed, 70, more than twice as fast as Lapras. Nidoqueen is way too fast for how big that creature is. That's scary. Speed, 89. Not terrible for a psychic Pokemon. It's like an old wizard man. 138? That's pretty quick. 108? Pretty decent. But yeah, like, fucking Electro Speed is nuts though. But that's going to be it for the day, guys. Uh, I'm probably going to record another video, like, directly after this one. Um... Probably play some Final Fantasy 2. And then from there we'll go on ahead and... Uh, maybe we'll play some Wario Land tonight. Maybe that's what the situation calls for. Maybe that's what my day can use. But yeah, we got only one more level to gain. So it looks like next video... Let's first save my game. But it looks like next video... We may actually end up having... Booyah! Eight badges. Ah. I can't wait for it. I need it. I need it in my bones. Ejected directly into veins. I need all eight badges. But uh, yeah, we're going to save one more time. Save often, stupid. Well, that's it for the day, guys. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to be recording another video after this. So for me, no time is going to pass. So uh, peace.